Hello world, this is Tommy Haywood coming to you from Leesburg, Florida, the lakefront city in the Sunshine State. It's 80 degrees on a sunny day on the way to 85. This is Thursday, May the 14th, 2020. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I remember seeing an I Love Lucy show many years ago in which Lucy attempted to sell a vacuum cleaner to a lady by spreading dirt all over the lady's carpet and then promised if she couldn't vacuum it all up, the lady could keep the vacuum cleaner. Well, she couldn't even get the vacuum cleaner started because the lady's electricity had been shut off. A corded vacuum cleaner is useless unless it's connected to a live power source. This reminds me of how many people seem to get little help from a relationship with Jesus Christ because they're not plugged into the power source. They're not connected to Jesus Christ in a loving, living relationships. Perhaps they started out very zealous for the Lord, but over time they became unplugged. They gave up. Paul tells us in Galatians 6 and verse 9, And let us not be weary in doing well, for in due season we shall reap if we do not faint. The ESV has if we do not give up. Others may have been zealous in their service for the Lord in times past, but just kind of sit down and rust out. They seem to think they have a credit balance built up in heaven and they can retire from further service to the Lord and to others. Just let others do the work for a while. Paul's attitude was entirely opposite of that. In Philippians 3, verses 12 through 14, he said, Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Paul used the metaphor of a runner in a race who pressed on toward the finish line to win the prize. Paul did not rust out. Jesus Christ is the source of power to which we need to be connected and stay connected. Paul expressed our relationship in 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 18 when he said, But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed in the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of our Lord. Our responsibility is to behold, that is to look with interested attention to the glory of the Lord, primarily by studying the gospel accounts of the Lord and His teaching, and putting into practice what he teaches in, that, in, in, the, in those passages. As we meditate on the scriptures with interested attention, we're being transformed into the image of our Lord from glory to glory. We don't go from glory to glory physically, as we all can attest, but we do spiritually as we become like the Son of God. Are you studying your Bible like you should? You may have plenty of time since we have a stay-in-place order uh, from the COVID-19 virus. Becoming like Christ is what being a Christian is all about. This is God's plan as he expressed it in Romans 8, 28 and 29. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. He also predestined us to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. What does all this mean for you and me? Well, we must desire relationship with our Lord and must give serious attention to studying his will, the New Testament with the intent that what we learn from the scriptures we're going to put into practice in our lives. God doesn't want Christians in name only. He wants truly sincere, dedicated Christians who are being changed day by day into the similitude of the Son of God. In the fable of the chicken and the pig, they stood on a cliff overlooking a valley where the people below were starving to death. The chicken said to the pig, I feel sorry for those people and I think we ought to do something to help them out. The pig agreed and asked, what do you think we ought to do? To which the chicken said, I think we need to give them some bacon and some eggs. Oh no, replied the pig. Why not, asked the chicken. The pig replied, for you that's a token contribution, but for me that's total commitment and I'm not willing to go that far. The Lord does not want a token contribution. He wants our total commitment. Are you willing to go that far? The other options are to burn out or to rust out. But the outcome is to be rejected at the judgment as unprofitable servants. I'd rather wear out than to burn out or to rust out. Remember, in due time we shall reap if we do not quit, and the Lord will determine the due time. Remember, search the scriptures, serve the Lord, and share the gospel with others. Until next time, this is Tommy Haywood wishing for you a very pleasant good day.